I'm Dr. Ron Lomanature, and I know Patsy because she was one of my early graduate students in my career. And I guess I have to say that, you know, of all the graduate students that I've had, I've had, I've had some, a number of really, really good ones, but Patsy is probably at the top of the list. Patsy came to me uh, as a graduate student with some experience. She had taught at Fresno. She had been with the Semental Association for a couple of years. And one of the projects that she worked on was kind of an instrumental project. It, we dealt with a lot of body composition, uh, where we did a lot of cow slaughter. And that became the foundation for the new beef NRC recommendations on the energy side of nutrition requirements. And without that data, we would have not been able to, to develop some of the equations that, that are currently being used by the industry. You know, Patsy, uh, after she left Purdue with her PhD, um, she joined the extension program at Kansas State. And, and while she was there, uh, she kind of developed some interest in, on the feedlot side, but also on this heifer development side. And she called me up one day and said, Ron, I kind of got this idea of Heartland Cattle Company and heifer development. And I said, boy, that's going to be a risky deal, all right? But I really believe that the industry is ready for this. And I know she talked to a number of other people, so it wasn't just me that she talked to, but she was good at, you know, getting information that she needed to be able to make decisions. Going back to the, uh, the 1980s, uh, I was at Colorado State University on the faculty and my research area was beef cattle reproduction and health. I was particularly interested in the area she was starting her business, which was really a replacement heifer development business. That was a very novel business at that point in time because these kinds of businesses really didn't exist. So I've known Patsy about 30 years. The way I got to know her is she just showed up uh, with a couple partners uh, here at the bank with a concept of Heartland Cattle Company. Patsy wasn't fresh out of college, but she had spent most of her career in academia at that point in time. And um, she had a lot of experience, but not at running a business. And uh, she shows up on a uh, very cold uh, early winter day here in Red Willow County, Nebraska. And we drive out to the location at which uh, Heartland Cattle Company was ultimately built on, and we stand on a county road and we stare out into a corn stock field and we talk about this vision of uh, having open heifers show up in a few weeks and how we're going to breed them and we're going to have customers. Started out a little bit raw, but she had a great concept and she was willing to learn, she was willing to listen. Obviously a very intelligent lady and she was able to uh, grow not only professionally but also from a business perspective. You know, I think what we've got to recognize here that uh, she is the first and maybe the only person to ever design a business on heifer development and breeding systems. And what I admire so much about Patsy is she said, I can do this, and so she did it. And everybody told her that will never work. I think Patsy's business plan was very risky, um, but very innovative. She has, I think, completely redefined what professional heifer development looks like in our industry. And I don't know of anybody um, that has been able to really replicate the business model that she has. Um, I think it's due to a couple of things. Um, one, she has an insane work ethic. Uh, two, very, very intense management. And three, um, one of the things I admire most about Patsy is she takes a very long-term view at everything she does, whether it's designing her business model or the decisions that she makes. In 1991, we were droughted out in Sand Hills, Nebraska. Uh, we had to make room for, for cattle, and so we opted to take uh, our heifer calves to Heartland Cattle Company, which uh, had a stellar reputation already in, in that young part of its life and have been there ever since. And I think Patsy's vision was that uh, she saw a void in the, in the industry and, uh, and it was in heifer development and she opted to fill it and in typical Patsy style, she not only filled it, but uh, she rocked it. Patsy was a woman in 1991 that was playing in a man's field. And so I think she had hurdles and barriers to clear that, that she probably didn't know she had to clear. But she met those things head on uh, with, with grit and tenacity. She used science, she used common sense. 
she literally took that business of breeding heifers, developing them right nutritionally, uh, getting them pregnant and sending back a, a useful pregnant heifer. She took it to a level that had never been seen on a custom basis. And I would suggest others are trying to do that today and uh, they're having varying degrees of success. The failure rate, you know, a new startup business is gigantically high. For a female in the agricultural industry to start with a concept and to have grown it the way it is, it is just quite miraculous. So for her to step out and uh, develop and build that business is really a credit, not just her skills, but her tenacity to really uh, go build that business and stick at it and build the customers, the relationships with the customers. Uh, it's just a remarkable uh, story, uh, the way she built that business into a very, very successful business. Without her dedication and her attention to detail, that thing would have never gone, okay? She hired good people that, that complemented her skill set, uh, that had the same values and motivation that she had and Heartland Cattle Company was a very, very unique business and um, she's the what made it work. A lot of people have tried and have never been able to duplicate it. I think the thing that sets Patsy apart is Simon Sinek's phrase, uh, leaders eat last. Well before Simon Sinek coined that phrase, Patsy lived it. And so if you looked at how she went to work every day at Heartland Cattle Company, she was the first one to work and the last one to eat. And I think that a leadership skill really defined her success. She's smart, okay? And, and so she could see the future. She, she had a vision for building this kind of business. She knew uh, the kinds of people she needed to uh, work with. Uh, and build customers in that kind of business. And then she really had the, the courage to go out and step out there and start that business, and then the willpower to sustain it. Uh, and it was not easy. There was a lot of tough years in there. She was early in building that business. Some of the people that are, are gonna listen to this video uh, know kind of all the history of Heartland Cattle Company. And she did some things that uh, to make other people's lives uh, intact, stay intact, um, and be successful uh, at, a, at a very big personal sacrifice from her side. She is a very special lady. My oldest son, Jed, uh, interned at, at Patsy's. Uh, when it was time to find a place for him to, to follow somebody around at, at a young age, uh, she was an easy choice. I had a daughter who had an online meat company and, and I can't tell you what a cheerleader Patsy was for Hannah. She's just been so supportive of, of everything our family's ever done and especially the young people in the world. Uh, Patsy's just a, a number one cheerleader and a mentor and, and a super guide for, for a lot of young minds out there. Dedication, hard work, uh, I would joke with her a little bit that she's a little bit stubborn from time to time. She doesn't want to lose. She has a huge competitive spirit. Uh, the ability to learn, the desire to learn, uh, the desire to win. She also likes uh, people to be part of an extended family. And so she treats people uh, the way she would like to be treated and I think that's a big part of her success. So she's more than just a professional colleague. She's actually a very good friend. She's just a wonderful person, and I'm so delighted she's being recognized with the Stockman of the Year Award. I think Patsy is deserving of the Stockman of the Year Award because she's been a pioneer. Right? And done some things that uh, many of us didn't think possible. It was high risk, and she took, she took the plunge, she did the risk. She's changed an industry. She's, uh, she's taken heifer development and taken it to a new level. And more than that, it's, it's who Patsy is as a person. From a corn husker uh, to a wildcat, I can tell you that, that Tom Osborne would have been really proud to have somebody with the grit and the tenacity and the work ethic that Patsy Houghton had uh, on his team anytime. And uh, that's a pretty high compliment.